Hello everyone and welcome to Wonder Studio Tutorials. In this tutorial, we will cover the basic steps you need to get started with Wonder Studio testing. It's important to note that Wonder Studio is still in its early beta version, so we can expect more major release in the coming months. This is the home page of the Wonder Studio app. The interface is simple and straightforward. On the left side of the screen, you will find all the necessary menus and on the right side, you will find the settings and the logout options. In the current settings, we can view details of the current balance such as storage, render time and the number of uploaded characters. However, in this closed beta version, the balance mentioned above gets reset every month. On the home page, we have a featured template section where we can choose the required live action plate. Clicking on it will display the short details such as long shot, tracking shot, etc. Next is the featured character section. Here you can find the pre-made characters provided by Wonder Studio. Each character has its unique features and support such as facial performances, organic style, hot surface materials, etc. In the My Assets section, we can upload our personal live action plates and characters. These assets will be listed in this area. To create our first project using Wonder Studio, we will click on create new project. At present, the advanced tab is not available, so we will click on continue. We can either upload a new video or use a video from our available assets. So first. go to uh, available assets select the video which needs to be used so we will choose the video and drag and drop onto the window then click on the next button so now in this step we will choose the frame scan the actor and assign the actors from the library once assigned, the actor will be listed on the left hand side of the end. We will scan for the actor again in multiple frames to ensure that the software recognizes the actor in various camera angles and position. This is a must step. From the second time onwards, we can assign the actor from the menu available at the type top right hand corner of the bounding box or from the left hand side library to avoid multiple actor assignments. After assigning the actor on the required frames, we will click next. We will then set the output settings and turn on all the necessary files that need to be exported. The process will start and we can rename the file to keep it organized. that our project has been processed and completed. It's important to note that Wonder Studio is a cloud-based application. Therefore, we can close the browser and reopen the app later since our process runs in the cloud. I know! You're way overthinking this, trust me. Did your mother deserve it? Would this break her heart and crush your soul? Of course. But you just got to do it. Come on. 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 Come on
We can export various data from Monda Studio, including the video, mocap data, clean plate, alpha mask, and the blender scene. On the left hand side, the tutorials menu leads to a collection of tutorials. The character creation menu leads to a website that provides details on setting up and uploading our custom character. This is a crucial step to follow if we want our character to be accepted by Wonder Studio. Our pipeline is based on CC4 and Maya and we need to ensure that the exported mesh and textures are kept ready for Wonder Studio. Once ready, we can click on the upload character. be using this character in a new project since we have already used it in our previous project. Sample 2 and 3 are the same and I have reshared the steps just for tutorial purposes. This is the project where we have used this character. created a flowchart reference for the CC4, Maya and Wonder Studio pipeline. Those who have access to the Wonder Studio Discord channel can find this chart using the hashtag CC4 workflow. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.